Hi all, I'm Mark and welcome to a special episode of the Service Design Show. This channel is all about helping you to design services that have a positive impact on people's lives and are good for business. And a great way you can do that is of course not only by watching this channel, but also offline at conferences. And this episode is fully dedicated to the Surfdesk 2018 conference that is taking place in Milan on June 18th, 19th and 20th. So I've invited one of the conference organizers, Anna Maroney, to tell us a little bit more what we can expect at this year's Surfdesk conference. Welcome to the show, Anna. Thank you. It's Hi. It's very nice to actually talk about the first service design conference in 2018. I'm really excited to hear your story. And the first thing I'm really curious about is, is there a theme this year? And if there is one, why did you choose this specific theme? Yes, Mark, sure. We have a theme, which is a service design proof of concept. And uh, the idea of uh, these themes is connected to the fact that, uh, yes, uh, service design is still a recent discipline, but not that recent, not to be already assessed. So the idea is the con of the conference is really to see after almost 20 years mm. what what's about service design, uh, what kind of impact we uh, service design actually has in the in the society, in the design, in the job also. So mm. that's the theme. Uh, great. Um, yeah, it's been 20 years. It's a long time uh, since surf design has been really, really uh, up and coming. Um, so it's still, it's, still, it's still a work. It's still a job difficult to explain to the grandmother. I, I, so I, so I'm a service designer. It's still a mess for the people to understand. So. Oh, well, maybe we should be lucky that uh, we're, there's still enough to explore and to discover. <laughs> What is uh, what can I expect this year as an attendee? What does the conference have to offer for me? Well, uh, we are experimenting with a mi with mixing the people from different fields. So uh, not only academics, but also practitioners and company. In in the reality, this is the the real big challenge of the conference because it's not uh, so common that uh, scientific conferences also uh, host uh, practitioners and host uh, case studies or reflections which are not, not uh, really from the academics mm. or academics. So our effort uh, for this conference is really to try to create the ground for these three uh, kinds of uh, experts to, to to talk, to exchange knowledge, and this is also the reason for proof of concept uh, for that the theme. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay. Now, uh, okay. of fact, we have been able to make it work in, in the real world. So. And, and is it is it different than the previous surf desk conferences? Did you change anything in that uh, area? I uh, we. Do, we Yes, uh, we, we are changing, but in the line with the strategy of the conference, because uh, in the previous uh, um, conferences in 2014 and 16, there was the intention actually to uh, favorite, to, to foster this, this, this meeting, this encounter of different uh, profiles. And so we are really trying to do it this year. In fact, uh, we are going to have uh, um, sessions, uh, tra traditional uh, paper sessions, in which uh, we have a number of of, uh, uh, invited case studies and these case studies in 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 total are 14 so a lot and mm. these case studies are from the public sectors from the companies and so on and so forth then uh, we are going to have a uh, workshops and again uh, these workshops are a mix of uh, um uh, proposals that uh, came from 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 the from the university and so from the academics and other coming from companies and agencies. So, so again, it's going to be interesting to see how maybe a yeah. same top approach. And then uh, we are going to have also uh, in the beginning of the conference, and we hope this is really funny. We will uh, will be really funny. Um, we will organize a service design drink. That's always which, good. Uh, yeah, which I guess it's. A, pretty well-known international <laughs> forum uh, in which uh, our uh, uh, some some of our truck chairs will 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 talk in a way which is a little bit more informal mm -hmm. and to give the uh, the people the the real touch of the italian design we will conclude the conference with the participation to the um 
Compasso d'Oro Award Ceremony. And the Compasso d'Oro is the biggest prize, the design prize in Italy. That oh, really? Award, yeah, it's awarded every two years. So it's really, it will be a deep dive into the Italian culture of design. So, so it's a mix of case studies, workshops, uh, uh, awards, and uh, Italian culture. Yeah, I guess the program is really, really dense. Mm. And uh, I, I hope that attendees will come uh, really energetic because mm. uh, it will be hard. <laughs> Um, so this is a little bit about the structure of the conference. Could you uh, share with me like two or three things that I will actually be able to learn as a participant uh, during the conference? I don't need to know everything, but just two or three things that you think might be really interesting. Let's see. Uh, one of the things that we, we believe um, we want really to focus on is try to clean up a little bit the confusion uh, between uh, service design, design thinking, strategic design, and those kind of stuff, which is really now also very hype. And so we, we will try to, 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 to understand what's the difference, what are the skills, what are the contributions, different contributions. So to, in a way, position service design mm. within this. Then uh, we will touch upon a number of, uh, let's say, frontiers topics like uh, service design in government, so with public policies, service design and collaboration, so all is about uh, uh, co-creation but also co-delivery and then um, around the creation of community, so how service design contribute to this, but also, and this is a very uh, news, if you like, uh, topic, um, how service design can contribute to distributed manufacturing, and so to uh, 4.0 okay. uh, industrial, yeah. So I think uh, we are really moving from uh, different fields and sectors and the idea so the idea is, is, is to try to have a conversation on the frontier of the discipline and uh, uh, the ambition, at least, is this one. Well, that's that's also the ambition of the show. So we have uh, a match there. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like a lot and it sounds super interesting. Um, as a conference organizer, you always experience this journey in a different way than an attendee. I'm really curious, what is the thing that you're looking forward to the most yourself? Uh, well, uh, I think that we are a big group of people working around this conference. So first of all, to be able to collaborate and to bring these different perspectives is, 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 uh, is not a, it's not a minor minor issue. Uh, in Italy and in Polytechnica in particular, we have a long tradition in service design since 20 years, as I said. So our ambition is really to also set a new way of uh, creating this kind of scientific conferences, mm -hmm. in which uh, are, can become more open to, um, yes, to, to the other words, the words of practitioner or words of company. So we hope this will, will happen. And so this, this is our ambition in a way. This is your uh, ambition as a conference organizing team, but what is your personal thing you're looking forward to the most? The day that it's so, over or is there a specific thing that you would like to see? Most of all, most of all, uh, surviving uh, <laughs> to the conference because I think this is the main uh, <laughs> main issue. Yeah, personally, uh, I, I hope to to grow up uh, in terms really in terms of understanding how these uh, these fields work, mm -hmm. work in, with, with in the minds of the people, and also since I am also the director of a of a program, academic program, I I, I personally hope to have a, a way to better understand the opportunities that my students have in the in the in the real world in the job uh, market. Anna. Um one final question, and that is if people are interested and excited about your story and thinking about going to the conference, there isn't a lot more time, but uh, can they still get tickets? Um, can they still enter uh, the conference? And if so, yes. how? Uh, yes, of course they can. We still have the registration open until a couple of days before the conference. The next to service.org. So it's a website, very, very easy. We op of course, we will close the, the registration when we will reach the full, um, uh, the, the full amount of participants that we can, we can host. 
Right. But we still have uh, some options. So uh, last minute options to going to Milan and uh, tasting the Italian culture, that, that's still an option. Anna, that's thanks so much for sharing the story. Uh, it sounds like a super interesting conference. I'm looking forward to the... the uh, the uh, the stories that will be there after the conference. Um, good luck with the final preparations. Don't forget to have fun. Uh, and I look forward to meeting you somewhere in the future. Oh, for sure. We, we will miss you in the conference <laughs> if you will not come. So please, Mark, next time, put it in the agenda. We I will, will, for sure. We hope, we hope to have a, a lot of people. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thank Anna. You. Ciao. Ciao. So if you would like to learn more about the conference, make sure you head over to surfdesk.org. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if this is your first time here, make sure you click that subscribe button because we'll be discussing all the major surf design conferences in future episodes. Thanks for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video.